हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आवर चैनल ई फंडा फॉर न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड आवर टुडे टॉपिक इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ बेसिक रिफाइनरी प्रोसेस सीरीज व्हिच वी हैव प्रेजेंटेड इन पार्ट्स पार्ट 26 ए एंड पार्ट 26 ए 1 इज ऑलरेडी पब्लिश ऑन आवर चैनल फॉर व्हिच सेपरेट प्लेलिस्ट इज क्रिएटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू आवर चैनल ई फंडा and watch all the videos created related to various topics for which separate playlist is created and publish on our channel e funda and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel e funda also e funda team has created membership option just press the join button and you will be eligible to get the many benefits of this membership one of them is you will get the first notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda so let's begin with our today's topic that is a basic refinery process part 26 a2 introduction to hydro cracking process hydro cracking is a catalytic process widely used in refineries to convert heavy oil fractions into high quality middle distillates and light products such as a diesel naphtha and lpg one can refer to the equation where c22 h46 that is docassin plus h2 that is a hydrogen is getting reacted then separate compounds are made that is a c16 h34 that is a hexa decane plus separate c6 h14 that is hexane this is how the hydro cracking process work after reacting or in the presence of a hydrogen it gets separated into the hexadecane and hexane at a high temperature of a 290 degree to 450 degree celsius with high pressure of 105 to 190 kg per centimeter gauge pressure in the presence of the catalyst and the product which are being separated or made are clean and saturated with high in value are the product of this hydro cracking process one can refer to the pictures where one can see the long chain split form shorter chain you can see and then it is getting separated into the shorter form where the hydrogen atoms are added to balance the chain this is how the hydro cracking process work we will see more detail about hydro cracking process and their types and many other related information of this process hydro cracking process hydro cracking is a catalytic process widely used in refineries to convert heavy oil fractions into the high quality middle distillates and light products such as diesel naphtha and lpg similarly hydro cracking is a catalytic cracking in the presence of the hydrogen the extra hydrogen saturates or hydrogenates the chemical bonds of the cracked hydrocarbons and creates or isomers with the desired characteristics hydro cracking is also a treating process because the hydrogen combines with contaminants such as sulfur and nitrogen allow them to be removed single one can refer to the process of a hydro cracking process where single stage two stage process is shown in a single stage hydro cracking only where single catalyst low sulfur and nitrogen feeds hydro treating and hydro cracking that is a dual catalyst high s and n that is a without recycle and a with recycle two stage that is a separation of a product between two stages that is a one and two where ht and hc which comes with a dual catalyst very high sulfur and nitrogen feed ht and hc triple catalyst extremely high sulfur nitrogen and metal feeds are been separated this is how the brief of the hydrogen cracking process we will see further detail about hydro cracking process their reaction and many other things continuation on hydro cracking process gas oil feed is mixed with hydrogen heated and then sent to the reactor vessel with a fixed bed catalyst where cracking and hydrogenation takes place 
one can refer to the picture where the complete flow is shown for a better understanding as the products are sent to the fractionator to be separated the hydrogen is recycled then the residue from the reaction is a mixed again with the hydrogen reheated and then sent to the second stage reactor for further cracking under high temperature and a pressure as you can see into the figure where feed is provided to the fire heater then two stages of the reactors are shown then the hydrogen processation is taken place where for the sour gas or sour water water and then other recycled gas points are again fed to the second stage reactor and then further it will send it to the distillation column where we can get gas plus lpg naphtha kerosene diesel and residues are separately being taken out the types of reaction happen inside this process are cracking that is a endothermic and endothermic reactions means that breaks down bonds into the heavy molecules second reaction is a hydrogenation that is a exothermic and exothermic reaction takes place which makes or that saturates shorter chains with a hydrogen which we have seen in a previous slide how the long chain is being separated into the forms of the shorter chain with a hydrogen this is how the process is continuation we have seen the stages first stage second stage and these are the reactions are happen during the hydro cracking process hydro cracking process we are continuing with the process understanding in addition to cracked naphtha for making petrol hydro cracking yields light gases useful for a refinery as a fuel or a alkylation as well as the components of a high quality fuels like oil lube oil and a petrochemical as a feed stock some of the cracking processes and it is necessary to build or rearrange some of the lighter hydrocarbon molecules into high quality petrol or a jet fuel blending components or into the petrochemical processes the former hydro cracking process can be achieved by several chemical processes such as alkylation and isomerization now we'll see the alkylization olefins such as propylene and butylene are produced by catalytic and thermal cracking alkylation refers to the chemical bonding of these light molecules with isobutene to form larger branched chain molecules of isoparaffins that makes high octane petrol one can see the figure where the process is shown that we will see later olefins and isobutene are mixed with an acid catalytic and cooled they react to form alkylate plus some normal butane isobutane or and propane are being used the resulting liquid is neutralized and are separated in a series of distillation column isobutane is again recycled as a feed and butane and propane sold as a liquid petroleum gas that is a lpg one can see below the catalyst where isobutane that is a c4h10 plus butylene that is a c4h8 is converted into isooctane that is c8 into h18 where the all the items are being combined and then get the final product as a isooctane similarly the same process is shown here into figure where olefins and alkaline that is a then a propane and butane are fed to the reactor where isobutane are mixed together 
at a degree of a 0 to 30 degree Celsius. Then propane is taken out. Then again it goes to the remaining part goes to the acid settler where the sulfuric acid is being mixed and then it goes to the caustic wash where the fractionation and deisobutanizer is used and getting mixed with the caustic wash received from the acid settler then the products are being separated are alkaline there is a dimethylapenate and trithylipetane butane and isobutane are taken separately it again recycles back to the isobutane this is what the alkylation process process continuation on the isomerization isomerization is a process using oil refining to convert straight chain hydrocarbon that is a c4 c5 c6 into branch chain hydrocarbon which have higher octane rating and a better performance characteristics as a gasoline components one can see the composition of the components where n butane is shown along with the hydrogen and isobutane is getting separated similarly the butane is shown that is a ch3 with ch2 ch2 into ch3 compound and then further it is getting branch that is a ch3 where carbon and CH3 and H are getting separated with CH3 are being separated that is two methyl propane are shown and this is done for the two reasons mean are first they create extra isobutane feed from alkylation second they improve the octane of a straight run pentane and hexane and hence make them into better petrol bending components similarly the isomerization is achieved by mixing normal butane with a little hydrogen and a chloride and allows them to react in the presence of a catalyst to form isobutane as you can see into the first picture we have discussed just now plus a small amount of normal butane and some lighter gases then the products are separated into a fractionator the lighter gases are used as a refinery fuel and butane recycled as a feed pentanase and then hexanase are the lighter components or compounds of the petrol one can refer to the picture where isomerization process is shown when the naphtha splitter from that lighter naphtha that is C5 to C6 compounds are fed to de-isopentanizer where after the reaction the isopentane are taken out separately then it's react with a reactor charge pump which passes to the compressor section as well as the heating section and then further it send it to the reactor section where the two reactors are there then heat exchanger is used for cooling and separation of the compound further it is again fed to the stabilizer and then the second components are sent to the dryer from that makeup H2 is being removed and the dryer part is again fed back to the hydrogen compressor similarly the stabilizer after stabilization process of gas is taken out and isomerate pumps are being used to isomerate which will send it as a gasoline this is how the process of the isomerization where isomerization can be achieved to improve petrol quality by converting these hydrocarbon to lighter or sorry higher octane isomers 
the process is same as for butane isomerization this is how the isomerization process helps to get higher octane ratings for better performance of the gasoline components with this we are concluding on our today's topic thanks for watching our channel e funda where you will get to know the fundamentals so that is our tagline get your fundamentals right where we do identify the needs then we evaluate the need then define plan for a particular need and then accordingly execute the plan this is what we are creating our technical videos so that it will help every individual to get their fundamentals right and if you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press bell icon to get the latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel efunda also you can follow us on our instagram page and do follow our facebook page as well so keep watching our channel efunda for new day new topic